Today, educate yourself on three Illustrator clipping mask uses that you need to know. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Remember, if you want to continue to raise your skills and to raise your awareness as a designer, subscribe for weekly graphic design content right here at Satori Graphics. Today, three uses of the clipping mask in Illustrator, all of which are super useful and handy. The first use involves typography and how you can apply a clipping mask and still edit the text afterwards. First, we want to make sure that the text is at the very top of all the objects, like so. After you've positioned your text, head over to the Pathfinder window, which you can find in the top drop down window section, or you can find it here on the right. Click the button in the top right corner, and then turn on the compound shape option. This is going to allow us to edit the text after the effect has been applied. Now, simply select both the text and the shapes, and then right or control click the selection and apply a clipping mask. You will notice that you can press T for the type tool and you can still click and edit the text afterwards, which includes changing the font as well. Stay tuned for two more useful awesome clipping mask uses. The second Illustrator clipping mask use that you need to know is perfect for brochure and flyer designs in Adobe Illustrator. So I've got an image of myself here on the screen, which I've imported into Illustrator. We're going to use a clipping mask to create a visually appealing design, perfect for your next project. You can find the polygon tool here, and then you simply click the canvas once and type in six sides to make a hexagon. We can then hold down the Alt Option key and click and drag to duplicate the shape below. Having your smart guides activated will help here because you can align things properly. You can adjust your smart guide preferences in the settings or you can press Command or Control H to turn them on and off. Select the two shapes and then duplicate them below and notice the magenta guides are informing me when everything is aligned equally distance apart. From here, duplicate the shapes until you're happy with the orientation of the hexagons on your design. The next few steps in this process are really crucial, so follow along carefully. Drag the hexagons over the top of your image and position them like so. Select everything and then hold down shift and click the image once to deselect it. You can now lower the opacity of the hexagons, which is going to allow you to see the image below. We want to hold down shift and select the hexagons that we want the image to mask over later. I'm going to select all of my hexagons, minus four of them, by holding down shift. Once you've selected your shapes, head into the Pathfinder window and unite the shapes together as one vector shape. Lastly, we need to change this shape into a compound path, so the clipping mask effect is going to work properly. Then, hold down shift and click the image and the shape together, and apply the clipping mask by right or control clicking the selection. To finish off the effect, change the colour of the remaining shapes. Like I mentioned earlier, this effect can work really well on brochure and flyer designs, as well as magazine design too. Finally today, I have a very practical use of the Illustrator clipping mask that you need to know. You may have a design that creeps over the edge of the canvas like I do here. A clipping mask can resolve this issue and tidy things up. Press M for the rectangle tool and carefully draw a rectangle around the entire canvas. Pressing Shift and X together will flick the stroke over to a fill of your rectangle. You can zoom in and make sure the rectangle is exactly on the canvas edge. 
Now you simply need to select both the rectangle and the design and use the clipping mask option like we did before. And there you have it, a neat design, perfectly trimmed. If you want more tips and tricks, as well as videos on the business side of graphic design, subscribe for weekly design content right here at Satori Graphics. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like and a comment down below. And of course, if you want to help out my channel, share this on social media so other people can see it too. I'm going to be back later in the week with more graphic design content, so until next time, design your future today. Peace.